What's up everybody? So I am going to be shaving my beard and I'm going to do it in two parts. So the first part, I'm going to use my clippers, my beard trimmers. And um, so I'm going to trim down the hair on my beard and I'll probably trim my mustache too. But um, I'll trim it down, get as low as possible. And then for a full shave, I'm going to use some shaving cream, some Barbasol shaving cream, sensitive skin. That's the only one they had. And um, this Gillette razor, and then shaving my face. So, all right, well, let's, uh, let's get going. So my clippers, as always, I'm using my Remington, Remington clippers. And uh, like I said, trim down my beard first. Yeah. What I'll do actually sometimes first is um, try to line up like where I want my sideburns. I'll cut right there first on both sides. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know. So I normally don't worry about it if I'm shaving my face and my head, but I'm just going to be doing my face this time. So this, um, turn this off for a second. So this is kind of an instructional video slash just me, you know, obviously shaving my face because honestly, I'm going to tell you, you know, my dad, my dad was a great father, but he never taught me how to shave. <laughs> never, I know that I remember anyways, never, you know, I don't know, went with me in the bathroom and, you know, got the razor and be like, hey, this is how you do it or whatever. So, you know, I think that's how it is with most guys. You kind of learn as you go. So... This is kind of for the youth out there too, the young guys out there wanting to learn how to um, um, shave your face. So I'm going to be kind of explaining things too to you know help you out. Because like I said, I was never taught. So hopefully I could give you a little bit of tips at least. So the reason I'm doing the trim first instead of just straight to the razor um, is the razor can only handle so much hair. And so if I try to shave my, my face with, you know, just just this and the shaving cream um, this little razor it's it's not gonna be able to handle all the facial hair so the razor is gonna get clogged and it just won't shave properly so um, you know as you get older and your beard starts to get thicker and longer or whatever um, and if you want to shave your face completely basically it's easier to trim it down first and that way to make it easier on your your actual razor so that's, that's why I'm doing this. So if you see, sometimes I'll look forward because I'm looking into the mirror at the same time. So I don't, don't mind that. But um, in general, when you're shaving, especially uh, shaving your face, you know, take your time. Uh, just do like light strokes. Remember, the, the clippers are a machine. And so, you know, the motor's running. The motor can only run so fast, and the, and the blades inside here can only cut the hair so fast. So you don't want to go, like, really quick. So take your time. Let the, let the blades do their thing, you know? But yeah, this will really help um, get the hair shorter. So um, easier, like I said, on for the razor to shave my face. But if you're younger, you know, like... In my teen years, when I was first starting to grow um, a beard hair, you could just go straight to the razor. It's going to not be to your old or to your hairs that thick, or if you let it go for, you know, weeks or months. But, I mean, like, if it's only been, like, maybe a couple days since you shaved, or, like, maybe a week, and, you know, say you're 15, 16, and you just started getting beard hair, it's probably not going to be that thick. So, you could probably just go straight to using the razor. But, um, you know, just assess it. Try it out yourself. And once you, like I said, once you get to that stage where you're like, you know, hey, it's getting kind of thick for just a razor, get a nice pair of uh, beard trimmers, trim it down. Trim my mustache. I'm not going to shave my mustache, but I'm going to trim it. Ow. Oh, see? I was going too fast. Overworking the blades. Take my time. Pfft, 
He can hear my mouth. See this I'm going to do a little bit more than my face because I'm, like I said, I'm not going to be shaving my mustache. So I pretty much just want to get all the hair off. It just feels weird shaving right here with the razor, that's why I don't do it. Some guys do, I don't. I don't like it. Look in the mirror real fast. Mm, pretty good. I can always, you can always go back later. You're gonna miss spots sometimes. It's not a big deal, you know. So it's nothing to plug in the, the trimmers and just go back over it later. So but that's pretty good. Okay. So. The big, the majority of the hair is gone, so I've, I've trimmed it down enough to where to make it a lot easier for the for the razor. I like getting sometimes I get a little hair on my ears. You know, I got the trimmers out. Why not, right? As you get older, unfortunately, you get hair in random places that you don't want. So let's trim it up. A little trim on the unibrow real quick, nothing major. And then of course, a little shimmy trim here, shimmy trim there. Okay. All right. Now we can get hair get stuck in there, but I'll clean that later. All right. So you see, the majority of that's gone. So that's phase one. Shake this hair off my body. Phase two, open up this. Some razors, um, some razors have like between one blade and five blades. That's kind of the new thing, like more blades, supposedly the better, but I generally go for like two blades. Um, I don't know. I just don't see any really better of a shave. Sometimes it's like, it's like too sharp. So I just kind of, I usually stay away from it. This is only, I think three, looks like three, maybe four. I can't really tell. So it's okay. I never used this one before. Um, one bit of advice, again, for the young guys out there. There's certain things in life you don't want to go cheap on. And one of those things is razor. <laughs> I've had really cheap razors before and cheap razors even when you're trying to be careful they'll pull your hair they'll cut you I mean you can get cut with any razor so you, you always got to be careful but you're way more likely to get cut with a cheap razor so one bit of advice for life don't go cheap on your razor get a good razor or razors you know and um, try different ones and you'll eventually find you know a brand that you like and just stick with it and that's what guys do they get a deodorant that they like and they stick with it for life. They get a shaving cream. I've been using Barbasol for my whole life, you know, and I stick with it. I normally get another can that's not the sensitive skin, but whatever. So anyhow, so um, since I'm gonna shave, probably don't have to do this part because I'm using foam. But put a little water on my face first. Just give the foam something to stick to basically. Um, and if you, and if, um, again, if you're just starting shaving, you'll notice basically there's a couple different things um, you can shave your face with. Um, there's there's foam. I think this is, well, this is, says shaving cream. Yeah, there's shaving cream, there's foam, there's gels. You know, some guys use soap. Like when they go in the shower, they just put soap on their face and shave with that or shampoo or 
So, you know, it just comes down to, like I said, you just try out different stuff and um, see what you like. So I'm trying to squeeze this. I don't know, I think there's some kind of safety cap. Oh no, no there's not. I just gotta give it a good press. So I'm trying to do this with one hand, trying to, it's basically, you squeeze down here, I'll show you. And <laughs> the foam comes out. <laughs> trying to do it and get it into my hand. Let's see. There we go. Oh, there we go. See, that's why I like the foam. It's a good, good shape. Be generous with it. You know, because um, basically this acts as like an in-between between, between uh, the razor in your face it allows the razor to glide easily and um, I think they put stuff in here probably like um, anti uh, like bacterial stuff so if you happen to do get a cut you won't get an infection you know there's all kinds of chemicals or whatever to make sure you know so yeah get a good lather on your face wherever you're gonna shave hmm. of course I got some left over my hands I just rinse it off Now that you got the foam on your face, don't put any more water on your face. Because if you put water on your face, it's just going to come off. So if you if you happen to be um, in the shower shaving, you're going to have to kind of keep your head away from the faucet. Because after the foam on, if you get water, it's just going to rinse off. So now you're going to hear a little bit of noise because I'm going to leave the water running. Because as I'm shaving, I'm going to rinse the blade you know, to get the hair out shave rinse the hair out so i'm gonna turn the water on a little bit so you're gonna hear that in the background i try to keep it on low so i'll normally start start up here again basically i line my uh um i was gonna say my eyebrows <laughs> my um sideburns line my sideburns up a little bit I'm not too worried about it but uh just like light strokes yeah you don't want to one thing you don't want to do is push very hard down your face i mean really do like a light shave and then go a little bit more rough as you feel more comfortable i mean more uh, you know push down harder i'm gonna stop talking because it's gonna be hard to do this while talking so i think i'm just gonna try to finish the shave without talking so and like i said i'll be looking back and forth to the mirror so, so here we go And if you'll notice, um, one thing I do, so this is another thing that just comes with preferences. Some guys shave down, some guys shave up. I notice that my face gets more irritated when I shave up, so I never ever shave up. And they notice that some parts I even shave sideways. So when I go along my chin line, I go sideways. All the way, you on here. And I'm noticing I'm less likely to cut myself if I go sideways. I kind of try to go in the natural shape of my face. You know, my face is not a block face, so I don't want to just go straight down like a fumble box. So I'll go, I'll go sideways. Yeah, you're really likely to cut your chin. I just not kind of. Yeah, try to get some of this hair out. You see, you see the hair gets stuck in there, and then it won't cut. Some, some better, um, or some razors have little things that you can push little button it looks like and pushes the hair out otherwise you gotta tap it on the sink and it gets the hair out I'm always always nervous on my chin I mean you're gonna cut yourself eventually but just try not to just cut around my mustache. You can always go back to it too. You know, I kind of like just glide sideways. And some razors are really good. They'll actually bend, like with the shape of your skin. Or some don't bend at all. So that helps too. Like I said, you just gotta go and just test out what razor is best for you. Don't ever let anybody tell you, like, oh, you gotta use this razor, that razor. You know, your face is unique, your skin is unique. You gotta figure out which, which one's best for you, you know? 
I just happened to get this one because it was the only one pack I could find. <laughs> I don't shave my face too often. As you guys who watch my video know, I normally just trim my beard, but decided to shave it today. I haven't shaved in a long time, so. Then I'm going to show you a weird thing that I do. I don't know if any other guys do this. So, guys have Adam's apples. So when I go to shave over my Adam's apple, I'll, I'll actually swallow, which will temporarily remove my Adam's apple. So, basically, like I'm cutting around. So watch. So, I'll put my chin up like that to top, make my skin top. And see my Adam's apple is right here. If I swallow... It like temporarily goes up, so it kind of allows me to cut right, uh, shave right there without cutting myself. A little trickery that I do. This one's look pretty good. It's cutting pretty good. But the main thing is, like I said, you got to get a good blade. Do not get a sheep razor. You're gonna cut yourself. You're gonna regret it. It's not worth saving the money to get a sheep razor. Um, get a good razor. Oh, did I cut myself a little bit? I did, huh? Yeah, right there. So, it happens, but it's light. I was even pushing hard. But, you know, it's a razor. They're sharp. So, respect your razor. Make sure I get all little spots. Then, like, on my ear, I push up. Get, like, basically under my ear, top of my, uh, my chin, I mean, my, my jaw. good then at the end once you're done shaving and it looks good give your face final rinse and some guys use aftershave i think that's another like um I mean, it smells good but i think it's also another like antibacterial thing to um ward off like i said infections or whatever from cuts but like i said there's so much um i think they already have that that like antibacterial or you know anti whatever in the shaving foam so I don't do that I just give it a rinse and um that's it all right take a final look let me look at the mirror real fast yeah a little bit right here I could go a little bit harder right there if I wanted to let's see Yeah, when you don't have the shaving foam, you could kind of go over a little bit. I mean, my face is still kind of, um, like, moist or soft from the shaving foam. It's still, like, on there a little bit, so. A little finer shave. You'll notice you'll cut yourself a lot right here, so that's why I like going sideways. Let's see. Pretty good. A little bit under my chin. All right. Aside from the little cut, looks pretty good. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next video.